Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We are year two, day three, getting into spring. And they're starting to wake up, giving them all a few orders. Turn off the generator because the battery is fine. And we have a CPU core now. So I'm thinking it's time to use that. I think this is our one of our more important things to do. Um, just need electronics for a windmill. Just need electronics for for those guys, for these guys. A power switch, electronics. So it's just the CPU core for this guy. Uh, power cell generator. Could use two power cells. I'm not sure how those work. Or if that's something we need to get into. But let's... Oh, it doesn't go on a wall. I was hoping it was going to go up on the wall. Okay, I guess he goes there. All right, we'll get that built. And that should tell this generator when to turn on and off automatically and conserve fuel that way. Theoretically, if I read that right. <laughs> anyway, I set Rita to concentrate on harvesting first because I noticed that these guys are all ready and I don't want to lose any. We, uh, we have shroom torches that aren't powered anymore, so we're definitely out and needing, some, uh, needing a resupply. So we'll let her do all the harvesting and it's seven o'clock so they're all gonna break and do some kind of uh, commented the recent bush harvest with Umair. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, finish that sentence. <laughs> I got distracted. <laughs> Edmund is still out in the balloon and it's raining. Okay. Otherwise, um, I think we have pretty much cleaned up everything but this, no, there's one last little bug meat out here somewhere that I found, otherwise I found all of the manures and queued them up to be picked up, and I think we're pretty much, uh, up to date on everything now, we don't have enough for another run here, though this guy could now move, since there's nothing in it, uh, move you to here. And how soon will you two be done? You're both, you both have quite a ways to go. Where do we put a seventh one, or do we just... Uh, I don't know. Where else could we put it? You can't put it anywhere else in here without blocking an aisle. So, seventh, sixth one goes there. Seventh one either gets disassembled or what? Aggressive animals. Okay, disassembled or... Guess I could just kind of sit out here. I, yeah, it could. I'd like to see it sitting under a roof, but it's not truly necessary. Aggressive animals, what are you and where are you? And oh, you're full of big ones. Let's take a look at this. We've got five overgrowns, three explosives, and 11 scissor hand hatchlings. Okay, so they're the little ones. They may not be able to reach over a wall. Interesting. Hmm. So do we go deal with these now? Or do we let them have the run of the place? Unfortunately, they're going to run through our base to get here. Which might be the time that they actually interact with dog. That could be a problem. That happens... Well, it's 9 now. Did it just turn to 9? Did that hit at 8? Let's assume it hit at 8, so that is 2 in the afternoon. If we're in place by 2 in the afternoon and somebody is over here at 2 in the afternoon, then maybe they will track around, chase after the person that's over here. We need to plant some bait. Yeah. Who, uh, Simon, you, you're great bait. You are, because you, uh, uh, you run faster. So, your bait. Old equipment. Who is wearing old equipment? Kana is tailoring. She's just about to run out of a jacket. Ah, we probably have a coat in here of some kind. There's a fur coat. There's a coat. Yeah, we need to get... Um, probably take uh, jackets off of them soon. Or at least when we get toward the end of spring. Okay, got some shoes over here, some old short bows that we just don't need. Oh, I can dismantle these and get something back. Oh, I didn't realize that. Dismantle those. We'll keep one, 
just in case. So we'll keep that one. Looks like it's in the best shape. Okay. Um, wouldn't hurt to have maybe another crossbow in stock. Crossbow down here. Let's change you to an until of two. And we must have a smoke leaf pipe somewhere. I've never seen anybody actually using it. Hmm. Not sure where. I did ask them to build a few more shelf units and kind of spread things, the storage out a little bit. Um, moving fermentation barrel, heading down there to do that. Rita is appreciating a torch and liked Umair's opinion on bladed weapons. Nice. Uh, Simon is sleeping. I told him to. Does he still need to? 90%. Yeah, let's start your day. You're good now. You go find something important to do, like, uh, oh, well, eating or... Why don't you eat something that's going to help you? Grab some meat soup instead. Oh, you're going to go grab some berries right off the ground. I see. Okay. This bush died. It looks like it died. Or is it still... There we go. Um is growing. I wonder why it looks different from all the rest. Hmm. Rain, old equipment, constructing stairs, so you moved something. Yeah. So, aiming for uh, being ready by 2 o'clock. So, one one thirty we start moving. Um, you are constructing stairs. What stairs are left? Oh. Something at the top? One last floor. I wonder why he's calling that stairs. What did I miss here? Oh, that's what I missed. These guys insist on going through this door and going out into here anyway. So I thought, well, let's just put an official back door over there and let them do it. Because once we get the uh, cutting done and get this thing built, then we're going to need a back door anyway. So, hallway, I think battery storage. One, two, three, four. So, two batteries in here. And get our our other fermentation barrel out here again where it belongs. Yeah, that would do. Anyway, you're doing back steps. You're going to put another window in here. Inside the house, it is 57. But we're running these guys now. Uh, transporting. Oh, Simon is dealing with that. Okay, he's making slop until we run out of berries. Berries in here were pretty rough, 30%. And ungroup them, 31, 31, 28. But it seems to be fine for slop. As he makes the slop, it turns it into 100%. So, <laughs> we're going to let us do that, then let's do it. Uh, Paulette is melting down. Don't need a meltdown with bugs happening at 1300 hours. And Edmund gone. Paulette, why are you? What are you doing that's... What are you doing up here? Are you kidding me? You had to go get another potato. Oh. RimWorld used to have a setting where you'd set a diameter and they could only go and get materials within this radius right here. We don't have that setting here. Great. She's going to fall apart just in time for the attack. Yes, she is. And she's about to go nuts right now. Let's draft you and bring you straight into here. And actually right there. Drop it on the ground and run. Let's get you inside and get you playing an instrument or something and, and happier. Because we need to get everybody out here. It's already 1 in the afternoon. Okay. Simon, whatever you're doing... Uh, bugs are here, here, here. Bugs are there. Simon, I need you over here. I need Carter, Rita, Kana, and Umear drafted and over here. All right. Let's assume that it's 2 o'clock when this hits. Simon, you lead him in. Oh, there's Edmund. Just in time. Two o'clock hasn't hit yet. Edmund, what kind of condition are you? Whoa! You found some goodies. 
Yes, you did. Just just throw it all on the ground there. Just vomit it out. You are extremely unhappy. Okay. And you are immediately doing what? You're equipping. So you've already... Your stuff's falling apart. Yep. Connor's going to be sewing for the next couple of episodes. I can see that now. And then you are going to stay inside with Paulette. So you're going to grab a meat soup. You're going to play an instrument. And Paulette, how far did you get? You're still way over there. Okay. All right, let's try to get you in before that attack starts. 1300 still. We'll see if that was 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. when that hit. Babysit Paulette. It was 9 a.m., so we still have an hour to go. Okay. So, sorry, Simon. Though I guess you could kind of play with him a little bit. You do have a good run speed, but you have a very short uh, distance uh, radius. So I don't know if I dare do that. Um... Well, come on out over here, then. That way you'll be closer to uh, being in place. All right, Paulette, let's get you figured out. You undraft. Come in here and play some music and grab a meal and see what happens to you. Ranges quit. Boom, it quit. Okay, I'm going to leave those there to remind myself to go pick them up. don't want them sitting outside too much longer. All right, so Simon, you're bored as can be. Um, can you observe a bush while you're waiting? Thank you. <laughs> um, you guys, there's... No projects over here to work on, though Umayar is here, so you can certainly observe a small tree while we're waiting. Of course, i got to watch you guys. You might just defy my request and go off and do something else. I don't see what else anybody else can be doing. There they go. All right. So, belay that. Well, now you can go a little bit longer. And Simon, I guess you can too. All right, you two. Are you still in the doors? You are still inside. Okay, dog is dog okay pull up where do I see the word dog you're out here they're over all the way over here so there's a good chance that they're not gonna track to you we'll see who may are you still where you belong okay they are heading this direction but they're turning well kinda they're going after this guy I saw that shadow and I thought, no, they're not that fast. Okay, so where are the little critters? Little critters are still quite slow like their, their uh, adult uh, counterparts. You are heading this direction. I wonder if you're heading for these guys and you're going to bang on the back door. That's possible. Uh, Simon, you continue a little longer. And how are you guys doing? Edmund... You are average now. Paulette, you are low. You could probably get by. You're on your way to here now. All right. Both you guys. Two survivors. Draft. Come on down. Get into here. Okay. And we'll let them go a little bit more. I think we're good. Simon, draft. Come on in and drop into... Oh, drop into this spot here. Carter, you're dropping into this spot here. Paulette, you're going into the corner. Rita, you're dropping next to her. And Edmund, you're going next to them. Kana, you're helping out at this end. And Umayar, you're helping out at this end. You're not there yet draft and head here okay I think I have everyone looking for names oh you we were a little close here weren't we we were <laughs> but that's who they were after 
They were probably going to go bang on the front door. And, oh, they are fast? Look at that. Dang. Paulette, go, go, go. Come on, Rita. Help her out. That's an explosive one, too. Okay, take him out, guys. All right, any other names out there? Have I missed anybody? I've only missed Dog. And I can't control Dog. I can't direct him. Not much I can do. And they don't seem to, to zero in on him. So that's a good thing. Come on, Paulette. Make it in. Make it in. Got a trap. Okay. Now, you're still bleeding out. You haven't gone boom yet, right? No, you're dead. So... Oh, it's the little red ones that are the explosive ones. Okay. Boy, that looks like a tick. That does. Oh. <laughs> Big, fat, juicy one. All right. Take him out now. Guys, let's take him out before... He uh, can blow up next to us. Blow up our wall. Okay, concentrate. Boom, boom, boom. There he is. Okay. And Rita, you only want only one with the distance. You concentrate on this one. Everybody else, go ahead and do what you need to do. Okay, now let's get you four. Five? Five. Okay. To aim for him. Gotcha. And a little bit longer and aim for him. Okay. Or how are our walls doing? Just him against the wall right now. Oh. Trap held him? Trap held him. Okay. So hit whoever you wish. And we are looking for our scissor hands. Baby scissor hands. Okay, dog, how you doing? Nothing's crawling over here. Just a Pankoff flying around. Scissor hands, where are you guys? There they are. Get down in here. Yeah, that'd be creepy. That would. So did they take the stairs? <laughs> he knows better. He's getting out of here. So they are going to take the stairs down. Cool. <laughs> At least somebody takes the stairs. How you guys doing? You are... Paused. There we go. Alright, from your point of view, what do we see? There they are. And we've got an Olfen saying, I'm out of here. Nope, even they won't take the stairs. Alright, what else is happening up here? They are heading this way. Dog is still fine. And that looks to be... Yeah. Alright, guys. Let's do this. From this point of view... What have we got? Coming over the hill. Starship Troopers. Remember that movie? Here they come. <laughs> they aren't quite sure what they're... Ah, uh... oh, we've got some stuns going on. Okay. Hear the uh, crossbows clicking. Getting dark. Okay. So far, everything's fine. These guys can't reach over the walls, can they? No, they're just hitting the walls in here. Yeah. 70, 70, 70. Okay. So the big ones we have to worry about. He's stuck in a trap. So he must be trapped right in there. And we're done nice okay so all of you guys undraft and i'm going to assign everybody to butcher at least the ones that aren't going to break on me and i'll catch you on the other side all right so umayar is going to finish off by filling up our fermentation barrels hopefully at least that's the plan and this one's already loaded so and, oh, no, no, no. He had to unload that one and put it into there. Okay. I know you're hungry, but let's concentrate, okay? Grab some more. Make it happen. <laughs> but I think I got all of them. Yep, I had four of them out here uh, doing the work for me. The others were too close to breaking, so I sent them off. And all kinds of disturbed sleeps. Yeah. All right. Grabbing something to eat, going to sleep, eating. 
So we've got the balloon loaded with fuel again, and there was another ex uh, expedition that popped in. I, I saw these two and one for that and forgot all about this one. Peculiar crash site. Doesn't seem to be a deadline on it though, so there isn't a chance for another person. But a sizable chunk of spacecraft fell in this area. There's something peculiar about its shape. So, Edmund Arita. I don't know that we're going to be bringing back a bunch of salvage. So maybe it's Rita. Go ahead and grab a different plant that we don't have on our map. Could be. Rita went to sleep. So she will be in good shape soon, I hope. Uh, once you do a bunch of relaxing. So let's just set that now. As soon as you get up, do this and do this. Alright, that will get that set though you were meant to get all of these done and average growth 92 percent oh that's average okay there's a bug in there there is a bug in there ah uh, we need a kind of you how you doing your happiness is really bad where are you right now uh you're petting dog okay but you're stuck because dog is sleeping, and that's obviously a bug. So, Kana, why don't you instead say hi to a shroom lamp? Oh, yeah. Then go to bed. It is four in the morning. Oh, then I need to specifically tell you, Kana, to go to bed. Oh, she's already up. Oh, okay, okay. That is Paulette playing the didgeridoo. Then you're going to need more than just one round. So you go ahead and play music after that. Paulette, how you doing? You just need your relax relaxation and you're back. Okay. There's probably no point in sending you on an expedition. You don't have the strength. You don't have the fighting ability. And you don't have the special perks that Rita has. So, yeah, we'll wait on that. Otherwise, Edmund's already up. So, Edmund, can you go and... Edmund. And butcher this guy before the birds eat all of it. Uh, try that. Butcher, there you are. And what have you got left in you? Only... you got 12 left. I only need 10 more to get another fuel out of it. So, scare them away before that gets below 10. All right. There's still 40 on a shelf, right? Yeah, that does it. And don't have... Yeah, I've got to wait for that one. Unless I make an exception and use it up here just to get it used. I could. Let's do that. Ferment, fuel, uh, one time. And Edmund, you can take care of that right here ferment fuel and is there anything in there already there is nothing in there okay so you will grab 50 of that 52 i hope nope you're gonna grab 40 and you're gonna make two trips oh there's another 28 over here okay anything else over here besides traps to reset now, and one more time, I forgot to light the torches. I'm going to have a hard time remembering that. Later, we'll get lighting out around our, uh, our, our last stand. That's what we'll call that structure. Anyway, you guys are all getting up and taking care of yourselves and getting going. And Rita, I think you are the one we're sending out. So let's get your relaxation up and send you to see what that peculiar... Uh, thing is craft is drinking teas lots of teas to drink and though I hate to lose this we'll see we'll see maybe it will hold another day or two you in particular are just not there yet but you click again are all right we'll hope that works Rita find you you're still right there you're in decent enough shape now ok 
Okay. Thunderstorm. Ooh. I've never seen lightning hit one of our lightning rods yet. All right. Expedition. Let's go this way. Peculiar crash. Rita, you get to do it, and hopefully you don't get hit by lightning. Send expedition. When Rita finishes. Otherwise, we can see all of the lightning rods from here. So if we get a strike, we should be able to see it, and we'll see Rita take off. Otherwise, what's going on? I need to know that Kana is dropping into tailoring, and she did. Okay. Um, we have some cutting to do. Hmm. Well, Carter, I could get you to cut this tree. It is within our radius of protection. Barely. I mean, this one is, right? If I can just snag that thing. Yeah. There's no other cutting to do that is protected from lightning, though. Oh, it's hard to snag those things. Okay, so that's all that you could do is just the one cutting job. But that gets you out there to do that. Um, what else is on my list? Low battery switch. Ah, Edmund, you can work on that. Where are you right now? You are constructing a fence. Okay, and these fences are protected. So you do those fences. And then I want you to go build the... Ooh, winemaking. Build the low battery sensor. Winemaking is probably here. Ferment. Wine. Let's do that until we have... I don't know if wine is used for cooking. Let's kind of check out the chef's recipes here. So fruitcake requires... Fruits and grain, okay. So fruits flambe, there we go. Alcoholic beverage includes wine, okay. So it's not just moonshine. Uh, sweet meat bites, um, let's see here. Fry and exquisite, so that's a, a, a frying thing, oils, okay. Mushroom is not booze there either. Ratatouille is not booze either. So it's just a fruits flambe and chef steak. And they take both kinds of booze. Beer and wine and moonshine. Okay, so we can still make all the wine we want and not worry about uh, it just going to waste. So in that case, I can turn this on. We can set wine for until we have 50. Eh, 100. Same thing here. Ferment wine until 100. One more. Ferment wine until 100. Okay. So, did Carter... You were transporting wood. Good. Oh! Boom! Pause. I'll have to check that in the replay, but it didn't look like it hit this. It looked like it hit the ground over here. Weren't any bugs over there that attracted it. Now, where's everybody? No one's out doing something they shouldn't be? No, they're all indoors. Okay, good. Uh, no word from Rita that there's a problem. So winemaking is going to use up, I assume, let me check that a little more closely, wine, it is just bush roots. Okay, so that should use up the rest of our bush roots. We just got a whole bunch of new bush roots brought in. Um, and once the vegetables are done, yeah, once the vegetables are done, let's take you to the top. Uh, just the top over pickled vegetables. I don't want anything to go over the top or supersede uh, antibiotics. Those are going to be number one always. But we can put fuel at the bottom for this one particular barrel. Okay, constructing that. Paulette, continue to go and get those potatoes.
potatoes. She was determined. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, Simon is... Simon is... I'm just wondering what he's up to. Oh, he went to the wrong bench. That's what it is. So, Simon, you... Now you could use a meal, but let's use your speed to get this hauled in. Uh, eat is in there. Now, let's do that now. Get past that. There you go. Do this now, and then do this. Hmm, you're going to eat in between. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so get those in before they get ruined in the rain. Uh, Carter's out constructing a fence. It's not... Well, yeah, it is in the range. So you continue to do that. Uh, this is needing branches. We have... Whoa! That was a direct yet. And that was close. Just save Paulette's life. Wow. And... I wish I had thought to click on this and see what it looked like. We don't have a generator running. You are truly off. So I take it we charged our battery with that. We must have. I have to go back into the, you know, what I'm editing and try to notice how many bars are, are lit before the lightning hit. So if we had more batteries built, I would have charged the whole system probably. Cool. 95 poo rotted away out there. <laughs> oh, I'm flickering here. The lightning was... Well, there it hit again. We are doing some serious system charging, aren't we? We expedition... We discovered feathers. Ah. So there's feathers out there. <clears throat> Rita just figured out what they are. Can be processed into cloth on a workbench. That's interesting. What is our cloth looking like right now? We're actually really low. Okay. Well, there were feathers. Yeah, I hate to have you walk all the way out there to find them. Manure. Any feathers right up through here? No. And any feathers right up through here? No. But I will mark the manure. So if there aren't any feathers closer than that, then I'm not willing to go make the trip. Okay. But cloth is here. Cloth blossom. We need to get that planted, and we need more than that. We have a lot of sewing to do. So, extend cloth blossom. Let's head over here. What does that look like? This corner into something like that. 94% growth. Okay. So when Rita gets back, she has lots and lots of harvesting and planting to do. And we... Planting is, I think, is something that somebody who's not skilled could do. Harvesting, there's a problem. You can botch the harvest and lose things. But planting would work. So is there anybody sweating negative six? Carter? Interesting. All right. Let's... Um... No coat. No cap. Um, in fact, instead, switch over to a straw hat. Simon, you switch over to a straw hat. And Carter, you too. Edmund, uh, same. And I don't know how many are left. This is probably our last one. Well, there were five total, and there's seven of us, and Rita's not here. So at the very least, take that off. And... Uh, we'll, we'll go with that for now. Until I see another sweating. You guys deal with all of these. We'll see who has left what behind. And stressed out. Someone's stressed out in there. Uh, can't reach double wooden wardrobe because somebody else is in the way. Yeah, come on guys. you got to share. So with that, what happened? I don't see any more... Oh, there's one more hat symbol in there. So will you try again if you couldn't reach it? Or will you just have a fit? I don't know. Edmund has now got a fancy hat on. 
And we have one hat left in there, and no hats left in here. Alright, so Carter, did you ever get a hat? You did not. But you got rid of your coat. So maybe that's enough. Alright, I've been taking a walk. It is 1500. It's probably a uh, do whatever you want hour. Could be. Pretty soon we should have Rita. It was an 11 hour run. I don't know what time she left. Okay. So she should be there soon. It's been a while. Constructing a fence. Thunderstorm is still happening. Um, Carter is questionable on his constructing a shelf. So you are just heading for the front door. Okay. Suppose we should put a... Uh, what was a thump? Put a uh, one of these guys over here by our wedding arch, or we'll maybe move that, have it in the garden. Maybe the wedding arch is right here. That's possible. Anyway, did we get this built? We did. What does it mean? You are active circuit one. Threshold charge 50%. So when the batteries go below 50%, it turns on the generator. I think that's what I'm getting. Maybe next episode we'll figure it out. There's no point in turning on the generator right now. This guy is maxed out. Oh, because the solar panels are finishing it all off. Okay. We'll just leave all this stuff off for now and give me time between episodes to think about uh, circuits. Are there certain circuits that, certain items that should be on a certain circuit or what have you. Carter is cutting. Is there anything else I can get you to do for a little while? I can get you to plant. That's kind of what I was thinking about. Carter, so insufficient skill. You can plant beef berries though, but that's not in range. You can plant buttermelons. Okay, I think that's kind of protected. Yeah. Can you plant these guys? You can plant those, but that's less important. Okay, we'll do that. Who else is out? Edmund, you, you snuck out of here too. So Edmund, you hop in here and also find something to plant. All right, you do that. Okay, stay within the range of the... Speaking of within range, dog is out of range. No, you aren't. You are okay. And we always get one more lightning strike right afterward. So let's see what happens. Nothing? Oh, it hits somewhere over there. Okay. Anyway, I was going to say before it all got so exciting and so much noise from the rain and thunder that, you know, speaking of in between episodes. I don't know how often I will be putting out episodes starting here real soon. I'm right in the middle of uh, moving everything out of those rooms that I'm going to be renovating. So that's starting up here in the next few days. I'm trying to get a few episodes ahead of schedule so I can release those on busy days when I can't uh, be recording. But, you know, somewhere up in that corner up there is the uh, uh, notification bell for YouTube if you want to mark that so you can be notified when I do put videos out. Let you know rather than having to keep checking. It's, uh, it's going to get a little random here for a while, probably for a couple of months. But Carter and Edmund, you can both go off and do something. Well, no, you guys go ahead and just, just plant. Edmund, I don't know about needing to do this. It's a shame that we're not getting anything out of those, but uh, why don't you come over here and do that? Sure. Now, Simon, you are doing what? Need to make sure that you... Yep, you're making slop. Good. Kana is tailoring. We're getting behind on a few things. And I need to make sure that hats, straw hats, are set instead to an until there's two. Okay. So this until two seems to work out really well. Have I got anything else that's not marked that way? No, that was the last one. So she'll just keep going until there's two in stock. That way if two of them 
wear theirs out with, within a day of each other. They're, none of, nobody goes without. Veggie stew is new. Good. Kana is eating. She may as well eat some veggie stew. You are the vegetarian. I don't know where it went. I don't see a Paulette. Did Kana make it? Eat veggie stew. Boom. So what is that? That is a veggie soup. Okay, well, let somebody else have that one. You get the new veggie stew. Paulette is dismantling. Well, that's interesting. I had, yeah, we set the bows to be dismantled, and why she got the order, I don't know. Is that a transport job? I would think it'd be like a crafting job. Does that mean that there is no more cooking? That's what's going on. Uh, Paulette. Just the veggie stew. Yeah. Yep. We, we satisfied the foods. So what does that mean here? That means we have nine veggie soups, three meat soups, and one veggie stew. And we're out of everything else we need to make all the other recipes. Okay, that's what that means. Um, Edmund is planting because I ordered him to, but he's still... Well, he's getting close to to uh, freak out time, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and release you. Go ahead and do what you want. Uh, Carter, you probably already did, didn't you? Yeah, I'm still waiting to hear from Rita. Don't need that, don't need that. There's Rita. Okay. Parts of the debris caught my attention, so I went to investigate. Doing so, I found the remains of a communication hub, and with some effort, I was able to pull out an intact orbital radio core. With some research, it should be possible to use the core in the construction of orbital communication devices and contact any ship that passes near the planet. Cool. A chance for salvation. Can you bring anything else back? That's just a chance to research it, I believe. So that has to do with the end game, with calling ships down to rescue us. But we've got a lot of game to play before we're going to do that. We're not rushing to leave. Don't tell them that. They would like to leave. Yeah, I'm sure. When they face down those, those monsters that are three times their height coming at them later. But animal flu. Interesting. Paulette, you are our wannabe doctor. Hmm. Heal dog. Animal is busy. Dog is probably getting up to... No. So, about to rot away. Paulette cannot heal. Unless she already is and is not telling me. Simon is. Okay. Now, I do wish that Paulette could have. She... It's one that needs the experience to become our our uh, master healer. All right, so where are we as far as shutting this episode down? I think we're probably pretty close. That's two days worth. Rita's on her way back. She can come back and immediately drop into harvesting. Carter and Edmund got her caught up a little bit on plantings. Simon has been using up a lot of the slop. Slop is now up to 340. I went ahead and increased it to 500 Seems that since the decay rate seems to be almost... Yeah, it's it's zero for for being refrigerated. Though, first thing Rita's going to want to do is put 300 out here, isn't she? <laughs> well, even though what's out here is decaying at a very slow rate, since really it's kind of represented like kibble, you know, dog food. So, and it's supposed to give... A negative debuff but dog is a hundred percent no his happiness is actually low because he's sick good health and was tamed hmm but no anyway he's fine um, everyone's asleep and I think it's time for us to as well. So let's call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.